Thank you, Steve. My name is Erwin Snidgens, and I have a handicapped daughter with Rett syndrome and a 94-year-old mother who lives with me, and they both need 24-7 caregivers. More than 30 years ago, I spent a lot of my time helping to raise millions of dollars for charities such as Special Olympics, United Way, Community Homes for Independent Living, and Mass Inner City Angels, and Red Syndrome. So I believe I'm just as qualified to speak here as, as an equal to the four candidates featured by the media and Toronto organizers. The main organizers of this event, uh, Mr. Gary Berlin and David Layton from CUNY Living and Adrian Spindle, President and CEO of March of Dimes, have vision and mission statements. For community living is to change the lives of people with an intellectual disability by giving them a voice and exporting their choices where they live, work, and play. For March of Dimes, the mission is to maximize the independence, personal empowerment, and community participation of people with disabilities by creating a society inclusive of people with physical disabilities. Today, I stand here crippled and handicapped by these charities. All of these charities, with their mission statements of inclusivity, empowerment, fairness, giving others an equal chance, have made me and all the other non-featured candidates intentionally handicapped and crippled to have equal voices. Now forgive my interruption. I was told by the care gate, uh, gatekeeper, Mrs. Karen, uh, your Karen is, I've, I've let you go. I know, I know we have, and I'm going to keep on going. That the audience <laughs> was set by her bosses, and because this event was being held on city property, they had to include the other candidates. So we will be given 60 seconds. Thank you very much for giving me a little more. I'm indulging you a little bit. Thank you. I'm not speak. sure your fellow candidates I know. are that happy with me right that, now. I, I understand that, they never are. The various charities that fight hard to give voice to others have cut my tongue out and broken my legs so just so the media chosen four can have enough time to respond. Shame on the organizers. Ms. Karen Stintz, you are on the city council, yet you allow these charities to use city property to discriminate against all the other candidates. I recall how upset you were, okay, when you were unable to participate in Sheriff Thompson's University of Toronto well, I've, I've, debate. You've, you've really had a lot of time here. Shame on you, Karen. I refuse to be crippled by the charities. Are you going to call the police? <laughs> I, I refuse to be crippled by the charities that advocate fairness and inclusivity for those less fortunate, but when given a chance to exclude fairness and inclusivity. I refuse to be crippled by the media that advocates fairness and non-discrimination to those less chosen, yes. but then Please intentionally stop. provide unfairness and discrimination to those less favored. The voices of stop. Toronto deserve to know all the facts and to hear all the voices. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.